Now, in addition to finding the magnitude and direction of the vectors, we also often want to do operations that involve multiple vectors. So in this clip, we're going to talk about adding vectors. And just as when we were talking about finding magnitude and direction, we'll talk about adding vectors both from a sort of graphical perspective and from a component-wise perspective. So let's imagine that we have two vectors, A that points in some direction, and then B that points in some other direction. Now in some ways, if you think about what we mean by A plus B, it's easy to think about that um, in a sort of graphical way if we imagine vectors as having as sort of giving you instructions for going a distance in a certain direction. So if we had A plus B, that would mean to go this far in this direction and then follow that by going this far in this direction, which leads us to this sort of graphical way of adding vectors, which is also known as head to tail. So we draw the first vector, A, and if we want to add B to A, we take, the t we take B and we move B, so the tail of B lines up with the head of A. So you make this construction where you've taken this B and moved it here so they line up. And then the vector A plus B is a vector that starts at the tail of A and goes to the head of B. It's sort of easier to think, if you think about this in terms of giving someone directions, it's kind of easy to think about that, right? You go a certain distance in a one direction and then you go some other distance in a different direction, and the final point you end up at is the connection between this place you started and the place where you end up. So that's how you add vectors graphically. Component-wise, it's a fairly simple thing to add vectors as well. So if we said, let's say we're in a two-dimensional coordinate system, let's say it's 3 times i hat plus 3 times j hat, and v was um, 3 times i hat minus 4 times j hat. Well, if we want to add the vectors a plus b, all we have to do is simply add each of the components. So i hat adds to i hat, and j hat adds to j hat. So in this particular case, we get 3 plus 3 times i hat plus 3 minus 4 times j hat, which gives us a total of 6 times i hat minus 1 times j hat. Now, of course, both a hat and b hat have to be using the same unit vectors here, right? If we had a written in terms of i hat and j hat and b written in some other coordinate system, we would be in trouble with regard to adding them up. And we actually would need to transform one of those vectors into, and so that both vectors were in the same coordinate system. So a sort of caution here, you need a and b to be using the same coordinate system. And if they're not using the same coordinate system, you need to actually put one of those vectors into the same coordinate system as the other vector. 